Hey, so welcome to the second video of the Arma Reforger Tools uh, tutorial series. Uh, this is going to be how to import models. This one's probably going to be the quickest tutorial out of all of them, probably like two minutes-ish. So, let's get started. So, I've got Blender open. Uh, this isn't going to cover how to install Blender. If, if people would like that, I can, but there's plenty of tutorials for that online. This is just how to export it uh, for um, the Arma tools. So, you're going to want to... Select your mesh and make sure only the mesh, select only what you want exported to the engine. So not your lights, not your cameras. If you've got like four models in here, just select the model you want. Go to file, go down to export, and we're going to do FBX. It's going to open a little pop-up window here. I opened it on my other monitor. And basically the only thing, there's a lot here, but the only thing you really need to do is choose where you're going to export it to and hit this limit to selected objects, or else it's just gonna export everything you're seeing. And then you can just name it down here, whatever you want, boom. Um, I'm not gonna hit, then you would just click export FBX. I'm not gonna do that, I've already got it exported. Um, so yeah, let's get an engine now. So here we've got the uh, Armor Reforger tools. So let's create a folder first for our uh, models. So you're gonna go up here to the top left and you're gonna go to your new infusion project um, folder here. Uh, the reason we're going to do this one is I've noticed profile shares between projects, which I mean, if that's what you want, now you know. Um, at least as far as I can tell, it seems to share because it's got all my other stuff here uh, for my testing. Um, and then you've got car your, your core and your armor reforger. These won't let you create anything new. These are just like your base assets. So we're going to stay away from there. So anyhow, we're going to come here, right click, and we're going to go new folder. It'll ask you what you want to name it. I'm going to name it Models. I'm going to double click and pop that open. So then what you can do is you can go to your you know, file browser. I'm going to go to the model. So this would be the FBX you're, uh, you just exported, whatever you named it. You're just going to drag it in here. It'll ask you to copy it. You let go. And then it'll basically say it's ambiguous. Is it a model or is it an animation? In this case, it's a model. So click as model and it'll import and convert it to um, the Arma engine, essentially uh, its format, which is an XOB file. Uh, ignore everything else here. This is what you want. So for example, we open the world editor and then there it is. Drag it in. There it is. Uh, textures are popping in on this. Uh, you won't see this. It'll just be this uh, white grayish clay kind of color. Uh, well, not clay, but um, just this white gray color. Um, it's just, it must be picking up the textures from the, um, the uh, profile that I was testing earlier. So just ignore that. Uh, we'll go over this. We'll go over texturing in the next video. So uh, yeah, yours should look gray, um, not textured like this. So uh, yeah, like I said, super quick video. Um, that's pretty much it for importing models. It's pretty straightforward for getting, you know, you know, an unanimated static mesh into the engine. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.